Hi, this is Peter Staley. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to take a look at the Vipar Spectra XS1500. All right, so I've got this ready to uh, just unbox. I want to show uh, show the light, the um, how it looks turned on, power test. In the past, I've reviewed a lot of lights that were sent to me for free to review. Viper Spectra didn't actually send this to me. I, I just bought it. Um, I did get a good price on it. With a, they had a discount code. I think it was around 128 with the code. I don't know what, what it is for now, but I'll put a link in the description. So I'll go over the... Um, the basics real quick. So it's um, the max output. It's dimmable, but the max output is 150 watts according to their product page. It's got, uh, it's basically, um, I've got another light. I still haven't shown a grow test for it. I'm getting ready to start one. But earlier in the year, they came out with the P1, um, P series. Um, there's like, and I have the P1000. They also had a P1500. So this is kind of like, uh, this, like an improved version of the uh, P1500, but there's some improvements with the um, material in the heat sink, and uh, it's got a mean wheel driver. The new version, I got a mean wheel driver, and it also has the uh, better Samsung LM301B diodes. I mean, the, the other light that came out with the beginning of the year is actually a really good light, but this has some improvements, and the cost really isn't significant. If, if anything, it's around the same price. So uh, it looked attractive to me. I was, um, like I say, they didn't send it to me. Uh, I would have bought it anyway, just based on the specs and the, what it's made with. So uh, it's got a full spectrum, a mix of 3000K, 5000K lights, uh, 660 nanometer deep red, and 730 nanometer infrared. They they show their uh, PPFD maps using an Apogee sensor, which is the industry standard. And I'll put those up on the screen. So at the center, in a two by two or area, the at 12 inches, it's uh, 1,304 ppfd. At 14 inches, uh, it's 993 ppfd. And at 18 inches, 675, which is really good. It's got a dimmer knob. Um, they advertise it as a 62,000 hour lifespan. Yeah, so that's those are the basics. Uh, let's go ahead and unbox it and take a look at it. All right, so this is um, kind of need two hands to pull this out. This inside. Here's that mean wheel driver. There's the top of it. So it's got a mean wheel HLG series 150H-54AB driver. Really nice big aluminum heat sink over the whole thing. Dimmer knob, just like, uh, I mean, it's the same form factor basically as the P series that they just came out with. This is like kind of an iterative update uh, on that, it looks like, but just with better materials. Here's the board itself. See, so it does have the Samsung LM301B diodes. If you can see the reflection, there's a protective coating. Most of the new quantum boards, you know, the better ones anyway, have that. It's kind of a rubbery feeling. This is protected from dust and water. Yeah, that's a really nice. Some of the earlier quantum boards didn't have that. You had to be really protective, especially in a great team where there's a lot of humidity and whatnot and dust, you know, things that could get on it. So that's that's a really good thing they do now. Um, there's the power cord. Two hangers actually attached to the light, and it's got two rope hangers to hang it from the ceiling or grow tin or wherever you put it. Product manual. Yeah, they make some other, some bigger ones too. Yeah, and there's the page for all the specifications and the, some of the PPFD maps. There's the color spectrum. All right, let's plug this up and we'll see how it looks. All right, let's go ahead and, um, so I've got a kilowatt tester. Plug this into, I'm gonna let it sit there and plug it. Okay, so this is all the way down at 5%, the lowest setting. It's pulling 6 watts. 25%, 37.8. power, 69.4 watts. 75% power, 108 watts. And wide open, 100% 100 
151 watts. So it's pulling what it's advertising, which is really good. Uh, it's not super heavy. I think it's like, I don't know what the pounds conversion was. 1.1 something kilograms. So that's what a couple of pounds, over two pounds maybe. Yeah, it's very bright. You can see the um, the cooler and, and warmer diodes, the light and the white, and then you see the red ones um, in there as well. Yeah, that's wide open. Um, turn it down. Yeah, it's fluctuating between 150 and 101. It's advertised as 150 watt light. So today it does bump up to 151, but that's it's really good. Let me turn this down. So yeah, it's a really good light, looks like. I have a grow tent set up for it. I'm using a Mars, a Mars Hydro grow tent. They actually sent me one to review their SP150 in, and I bought a second one identical to it. It's, uh, it's perfect for these size lights. I ordered some carnivorous plants or something I want to dabble with, and I ordered a, a base, a, I forgot the specific um, variant, but it's a Venus flytrap and then a pitcher plant, and I'm also going to look to add maybe a sundew plant. And I read that those like a lot of like full sun, so I think this would be a good test for this light. Kind of run it up until I start needing it for um, my seed, pepper seedlings. I can do a, a test with that and then let them go dormant, put them under somewhere else under less light. That's something I want to play with, so I should get them this week. Let me go ahead and set the light up in the grow tent. I'll show you that and I'll show you the uh, the plants. Okay, so this is the uh, Viperspectra XS1500 mounted inside of the Mars Hydro tent and uh, looks really good. I've got these carnivorous plants I mentioned earlier. I was going to start growing them. They I got these from Carnivero. This, they, they arrived today so I've got them transplanted. They're in a 50-50 mix of peat and perlite with a little bit of sphagnum moss on top and per their guidance I added put these in a tray with, um, with about an inch of distilled water and I've got the light turned down about 70% or so and raised a little higher than I normally would just so they can kind of acclimate. So this is the um, Saracenia Judith Hindle. It's a pitcher plant. Looks really cool. And this is a Venus flytrap. I don't know how to pronounce the genus, but it's a King Henry strain. So I don't really know anything about these. Uh, base basically like a lot of uh, water and a lot of sun so they should like this viper spectra light this looks really cool and i'm going to be adding ordered a sundew plant from another vendor and i'll be adding that whenever that comes uh, so that'll be cool catching some of these fungus gnats anyway uh so that's i'll post an update in a few weeks showing how these are doing and uh, yeah it looks like a really good light for this size tent so it's a, it's a Mars Hydro tent, uh, 60, uh, 27 inch by 27 inch by 63 inch. So it's got a, a lot of vertical space and a little more width than your traditional 2x2 two two tent. And so it's a perfect fit for one of these um, quantum board lights of this size. You could actually get one a little bigger in here too if you needed. Yeah, so that's the, um, this is the light and I'll post an update in a few weeks showing how these plants are doing. And I uh, hope you like that. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.